begin with the changes at the National Intelligence Service. And Nuruddin Haji, the Director of Public Prosecutions, is set to become the new Director General at NIS. President William Ruto has picked him to replace retired Major General Philip Kamweru, who is taking early retirement. Now, if approved, Haji will serve as Kenya's spy master for a renewable five-year term. Brenda Wanga looks at Haji's journey back to the office he left six years ago. The Director of Public Prosecutions, Nurdin Haji, makes a return to the NIS from where he was picked to head the operations at the Directorate of Public Prosecutions. Before leaving the NIS, he had served as the Deputy Director of the Counter-Organized Crime Unit. His six-year tenure at the DPP has been characterized by a slew of high-profile cases, many of which he failed to successfully prosecute, among them the Aurora Kimware Dam case, which is currently on its deathbed, and the corruption case against the Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilum. Haji's appointment to the office of the DPP was met with enthusiasm as he was seen as the untainted outsider who, together with his counterpart at the DCI, George Kinoti, were expected to work seamlessly to move the wheels of justice. The relationship between the two, however, was soon strained with the two trading accusations about who was failing the other on the execution of their separate mandates. His exit from the office is a quiet one, as he is set to take over from Major General Philip Kamweru, who is heading to retirement and who was picked by former President Uhuru Kenyatta in 2014 to head the NIS. Little is known of the former military man who was known to avoid the limelight, particularly the glare of the media, preferring instead to work in the background. His is a career honed through a steady climb in the military ranks through the years, including a stint as Director of Military Intelligence. Haji joins the tiny list of Kenyans to hold the highly consequential security and administrative posts, including the late spy master Joseph Kanyotu, William Kivuvani, Brigadier Wilson Boynet, and Michael Gishangi. Unlike his predecessors, Haji comes to the office without military or police background. He holds a master's degree in law and national security policy. Following receipt of the nominee's name, the National Assembly has 14 days to either approve or reject his nomination. If 60 days elapse and the National Assembly shall not have either approved or rejected the nomination, he shall be considered automatically approved. The Defense and Foreign Relations Committee will vet the nominee within 14 days and present a report to Parliament. Brenda Wanga, Citizen TV. Nairobi.